Hello and welcome to the second part of the force field tutorial. Now, uh, there's a few things that I missed in the last tutorial. And just before I start, I'd like to give a shout out to XD Flame So Fury and say, Take me to your leader, as you asked. Okay, so now back to, to, to the tutorial. Now, the force field also can be changed in dimensions and in form. Now to do this you have to turn the force field off so as we here have a redstone current we're going to break it. I'll just get a piece of redstone to, res to, oh dear, sorry, to restore it after. So you can change it between a sphere and a cube so we'll, we'll put the cube and then activate it so you can see the um, volume that it can hold is bigger for the same radius. Now if we deactivate it again, I turn it back to a sphere and the maximum radius it can have is 32. So we'll, we'll put it all the way up to the maximum and then replace. So it is a very large, large structure that can be built with this force field. Now, um, this this increases the amount of power it consumes by extending it. I'll just activate and change it to cube. So it's even bigger. The height of the cube is more constant, so it's the biggest area. Very large force field. Now, there are two, there are lots of add-ons, but these are the two that I found the most interesting. There's the zapper back to it again. Now this electrocutes anybody that tries to touch the force field. Now if I put myself into survival mode and I touch the force field I lose two and a half hearts without armor. So this is a very good defense against zombies or other creeps. And the well, the, the zapper is also good against other players. Now the well, yes. So the second part of this mod, this uh, the sex, sorry, second add-on, which I found particularly interesting, is the camouflage. Now if I place the camouflage add-on next to it, and then right-click and place any block inside and reinitialize it, it'll turn it into that block. So we'll just go outside same as uh, as before with the remote turn it off and on so it doesn't no longer looks like a force field so if you activate the sphere function we'll decrease the radius so we can have a good look at it okay it it's a very good camouflage to be um sorry if you are underground or trying to conceal your base. Not only is it indestructible and very safe because nobody can enter and will attack your enemies with the zapper mod, it is also completely camouflaged. So, those would be add-ons of the force field. Now there are also several other upgrades which is the underwater upgrade, the dome upgrade, the block cutter, the storage, the power, etc. So there are, there are a few other upgrades but I thought these were the two most interesting. And also sunlight is transmitted through the force field. So you could hide under this but still have the solar power necessary to power it. Yeah. So that that that's all. That's a more in-depth review of the force field part of TechIt. Now these are relatively expensive to build, but judging on what you get, I think it's well worth it. If you're playing on a server. This is 
extremely good defense because it is unbreakable in even any block you choose. Now, I do not know if it works with flowing blocks. This might crash game, but I will attempt anyway. No, it just goes back to air blocks. So that appears not to work. And any other blocks will try fire, but I think it's gonna be the same result. Yes. Doesn't it does not work. They have to be full blocks that are able to be got by the gamer. This was a more in-depth review of the add-ons of the Force Field mod. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.